Hey everyone, Preds World here. Welcome back. Uh, so we're gonna do a an assembly and a review of the Prime One Studios Batman Who Laughs today. Um, so just uh, to remind you though, make sure you subscribe and you hit that bell to get notified when uh, I upload new videos. I have some pieces that are coming in. If you're a Star Wars fan, I have a uh, Nihilus and uh, White Revan uh, that are stuck in customs right now, so I'm waiting for those to clear. Um, but I'll be doing those. Uh, and then I also have a Wolverine versus Ninjas coming in, um, among other stuff. But if you want to see those, you know, make sure you subscribe. All right, so we'll do that coming up right after this. Ah! Alright, welcome back. We uh, narrowly escaped that uh, crushing blow to us. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with assembling him. I've already put, uh, obviously, the, the base down uh, and his main body on top. That was the first uh, thing to do, so I have already done that. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so I think our first two little pieces go on his legs. Just got to kind of find the right holes here. I'm trying to do it from the back this time so I'm not like out in front of you guys. All right, so they go on his boots, the top of his boots. And they are different shapes, so you should be able to Get the right one on the right side. So there's that, and that's just these little pieces here. All right, and then it says his arms. Now there's only one set of arms, so we don't have to worry about uh, having to swap those out once we get it together. Uh, and they're all magnetized. These were magnetized, the arms are magnetized. All right. There's those. And then the head, there's only one head. Um, so, again, pretty easy. At least for him, anyway. We're not counting the four robins that we gotta do. I love it. It doesn't need another head. That's pretty awesome. So, I'm not as familiar with this character. Um, <laughs> I haven't read anything on him, but I have his first appearance and you know I, of course I bought the comics for it because I wanted that before they got uh, too pricey alright uh, and the next piece is actually his sign so the Batman who laughs sign uh, which just goes on the back here it's got one of them that has a peg uh, the others are just uh, you know just the slots I guess or the As long as I'm putting it in right. Of course, I'm putting it in backwards. So it does it so that you can see this uh, the right way from the back. All right. Swing that around. It's pretty cool. I like it. Again, some of these, you wish they would just be on, you know, turntables so that they would just completely turn around the whole time. Uh, just so you can see some of the uh, stuff that's on it, because they do a lot with the back as well. Um, so I, I'm going to have to think about that. Mine's going to be displayed uh, like on the back of a couch or behind the couch, so you will be able to see both sides um, from different areas. All right, so after that, it wants you to put uh, the capes on at least on one of them, but it's not very descriptive on which one goes where. So I believe it's this one from the look of the picture. Uh, so we're going to grab the cape for him. If I knew which one it was, that would be better. It's not that one.
Not that one. Let's let that one up here. It's got to be this one, right? Okay. I don't know if that one has a magnet or not. It felt like it was just snug in there. Um, it didn't feel like there was an actual magnet on that one. All right. So that goes on. He goes kind of on the sign back here, I think is why they did it this way. Make sure he's in all the way. So there's that one. And see how his foot kind of steps on the sign there? It's resting there. Pretty cool. Alright, it wants us to put his arms on now. Uh, so I'm going to have to figure out which ones those are. You can kind of tell by the key because uh, they're rounded in certain corners. Um, and obviously we need the right hand so we don't need to do the left handed ones. <laughs> It looks like this one here. There we go. All right, now we got to figure out the left-handed one. It doesn't show you the hands in the instructions, so that piece is not exactly helpful. It's the first one. That's what I'm going to go with. That's it. Uh, so just so you know, so it's the fist one here uh, is the one that goes on his left hand in the in the back here. So I'll let you kind of see that. Okay. All right, and then there is a small piece, looks like this one, that is going to go on the front of him, uh, if I can tell. There we go. There's that. It's like a little tie on him. And then we've got his head. Let's spin that around here. So we can find the right key. It looks like this one. All right, our first robin on there. Oh, you know what? I missed peace. So they have like collars that we're going to end up running the chains through later, uh, which we'll see how that goes. Uh, I may cut most of it out um, depending on the struggles I have with it. And I think all these are the same. They all look the same, same size. So it shouldn't matter which one you put on. There's a piece where it sews together, which is kind of what's causing me the problems. There we go. All right. So it's it's actually made of, I don't know, maybe a vinyl or a leather, probably vinyl. And that has a metal clasp on it. And a metal circle, um, which is where the chain will go through. All right. Now for the next one, there's not a ton of pieces to it, uh, other than it's got you know four robins. Uh, so which one is next? Let's see. Uh, 
Looks like they want us to do this one over here. Now I would say that that is this guy. I'm not exactly certain. Oh, okay, there we go. So he's got two uh, keys that go in. Um, one in the back, one in the front, kind of. A little snug on the front, but that's good. I mean, it went in all the way. All right. Let's try to get this guy going. <clears throat> they say to put the cape on first. Obviously, I did not do that. Um, but it shouldn't be a big deal. And I grabbed the right one the first time, which is good. <laughs> okay, so there's his cape. We already put him in the peg. Let's get his arms on. This is a left. Looks like this one. Yeah. So there's that one. Let's get his right arm on. There's that one. That one's kind of the fingers are stretched out on it. Give me the gesture here. <laughs> Don't make me pull out my lightning from my last video. Uh, all right, so those are the hands and the gloves there. And again, with the head, uh, we got to do the belt. I don't know if this is the one with the tongue. It looks like it's the one with the tongue. So this one here, um, you can see his tongue sticking out. It's got some kind of blood or drool. It says to put it on first, so that's what I'm trying to do. Um, but we'll see if the how well it goes in after I do that. Not super well. So let's try to do what we did before and put it around this before we put it in. I feel like they could have made this a little bit easier. You know, do these go on the back or on the front? Yeah, it looks like they go on the front, so that's kind of what I thought. So the, the metal loop that the chain's going to go through has to be in the front. Well, that's the way they have it anyway. It must be a lot easier, but that seam where they put it together likes to get in the way. I think I got it. <laughs> nope, I don't. It's, there we go. I think we got it that time. Yeah. So I'm trying to keep that leather or vinyl piece out of the hole while I'm trying to put the key in. Uh, easier said than done. Um, all right. So there's his head. That Robin is done. And the next Robin with his cape. We'll do the cape first this time, follow the instructions. All right. I don't want to make assumptions of this one. This guy has a, he has a key on his butt and on his knee here. So, uh, and yeah, it just goes in the front here. It's kind of sitting on it. There he is, in all of his armless and headless glory. All right. Uh, I assume the arms are going to be next. 
kind of self-explanatory here. And as long as I know my right from my left, it should not be too hard. <laughs> But it's not the easiest thing. There we go. Doing it upside down isn't very fun. Uh, so there's the arms for him. And the last belt, or collar, I guess I should be saying. Oh, that was way better. Yeah, they said to turn the head upside down and put the, the collar on. Um, but then when you turn it back over, it's hard to keep that collar out of the hole. Um, so on most of them, I was able to put the collar on around where it goes in um, and then put the head in afterward. All right. So there he is. Let's do just a quick 360 so you guys can see it. He looks fantastic. This is awesome. I'm hoping they do some more of the medals too. Um, some more of the other characters uh, from that line. Uh, we'll see. I'm sure he's probably the most popular one. All right. So now it has the chain. I'm not looking forward to the chain. Let's just... Put that out there. All right, so it comes with a little pole, little hooked pole, uh, and then it has four of these in it, uh, like clasps. So I'm wondering if these are going to go on those circles first, um, but we'll find out. So it doesn't look like it. So I'm going to check the length of the chains to see if they're all the same. My guess is they probably are because uh, they don't distinguish them in the bags. So I just want to make sure that we're doing these right. And they are long. Uh, over six feet. So these two are the same. So we'll put one of them up here. This one looks extremely long. Oh yeah. So two likes uh, over six feet, uh, and then the other one. Who knows? I can't hold it up, so it's probably over eight feet. <laughs> All right, so now we got to figure out which chain they list first, second chain, and the third chain, or threest chain is what it says. Threest, thirst. Uh, all right, so I wonder if the third one is probably the longer one because it goes around the base quite a bit. Uh, so we're going to use the shorter ones first. All right. So the first chain is going to hook onto our tongue, Robin. All right, so... Uh, so to put the chain in the first one, we are going to go to this guy, once we put him back on. So I, I was right, so these clasps actually go on these other clasps. It's kind of strange the way they got it, but that's how it goes. 
Uh, I wish they would have told you to put that on when you were putting the belt on, but... Either way. Now I have to fight that again. So then you... So I'm going to go ahead and put all these on the robins here so that I don't have to do it later. Alright. Alright. So the first chain is going to start here, uh, go through his hand. We're going to pull it through his hand first. Uh, it'll hook onto there, it'll hook onto his, uh, and then it'll come up through the other hand. So this is what this tool is for. So I believe you hook it, and then they want you to take it through here. And try to get as little resistance as possible, if I can. It definitely feels like there's some restriction there. <laughs> and then this just hooks on to the clasp that I just put on. Maybe. A little slippery. Okay. All right. So then we can hook this one here. Excuse me. Uh, so I'll just show you that real quick. I don't know if I like the chain hanging in front of his face, but. I mean, I guess that's part of it, right? So I'm going to give it a little more slack here. There we go. And then I'm going to hook it up to this other one. And it's kind of just relative on what you want as far as how much slack you give. So I have that one hooked right there. And then we use our little tool here again to pull it back up through this one. And again, I try to hold it out so it's not rubbing against his hand as much. And then the chain, I don't know if I want it on the inside or on the outside there. I think that's essentially how that first one goes. Alright, so I, I lied on that last one. This one actually needs to hook on to the other robin as well. So I'm just going to do that. It, it still has to go through his hand up there, so I don't have to remove that or anything. Um, but I just got to hook this one into this clasp. So there's that one. So that's basically how it goes. Obviously you can change this up as far as how much slack you give in each section. All right, now that is the first one. Uh, so I might pull this up some just so it's not, so it hangs down a little further here. Uh, but again, your preference.
I like it. Looks pretty cool. All right, on to the next one. All right, so for the second one, we're going to pull that through his left hand once with our handy dandy tool. I feel like this is not easy with the other chains already in there. When you watch their video, it's like super easy. <laughs> All right, so here's the second one that goes through. And that one just kind of hangs. And then once you get it through there, I'm going to pull it through the other hand. So this one only goes through the hands. So once through that left hand, and then we're gonna kind of show you guys here. So I let go of it. So then you pull this one through, and it just kind of hangs in front of him. So I'm gonna do it above Robin here. Um, and then what you do is run it through a second time on the same hand. It's going to get crowded in here. And you know when Robin's hand gets stuck to it. <laughs> you just got to avoid hooking the other chains too. <laughs> and then moving them. So I'm going to take the tool off so I can kind of hold the other chains so they're not getting pulled. So this one we're actually going to wrap around his hand. So it looks like he's got a, a good grip on it like that. And then once you get that, we're going to take it through the other hand again. And it should just hang down once we get it through there. Mm -mm. Easier said than done, right? You end up with so much chain in his hand that it becomes more difficult to pull this through. Kind of end up pulling some of the other chains with it just to try to get it through, but this is not not working out here. There we go. It's really not too bad, but I feel like it could have been a little bit better, a little easier to do here. <laughs> so this one, if you look at their video, he, it's a little bit higher on him than the last one that you put on. And again, I'm going to do something a little different with this one because uh, I don't want it hanging down so far. So I'm actually going to hook it to the robin again. I feel like it's definitely flexible as far as what you do. I could just let it drop, I guess, on his on the base too. So that's the second one. So the next one. The longer one is going to go around the base. Uh, and this one will probably be fun. So, all right. So, the long one, like I said, it's going to go around the base here. So, we're going to start in the back. I'm actually going to come around so that I can show you guys better. All right, so the long one, let's move Jason Todd out of the way here. 
So this one, and it, you can watch their video if you want to see it better. Uh, essentially, it's going to go through minimal noise here. It's going to go through here. There, I'm going to do this again differently. Here. I'm going to wrap it around one more time. Come through the middle. And that is going to be basically it. So it hangs there. And then it brings this back around. My super long chain here. So this one kind of goes through here. And then in the video they actually take it through here. Again, trying to minimize what I'm dragging across the base. And hopefully this isn't too loud because I think my mic's right next to it there. Let's turn it this way. I'll turn the volume down while I'm doing this probably, so you guys don't have to hear the chain. But I definitely wanted to show you this so that you you know where, at least where they put it, right? I mean, you can, like I said, you can do whatever you want. So they pull that through, and then they kind of go down under here. They go under his foot here. I don't think there's any necessarily any you know rhyme or reason to what they do or how they did it, other than just to make it look cool. <laughs> and they go around it a few times. And then the last clasp is basically to hold this in place. And then you just kind of hook it which, on whichever one you want. Voila! So that is it. And again, I don't know if I'll necessarily leave this here. All right. Let's go back around behind here. Okay, so uh, the last piece is the exclu exclusive piece. Excuse me. Um, and it is just, like I said, I think it's the Jason Todd uh, piece that they have here. Uh, and it's basically kind of a standalone. So we put his hand in here. And then his cape. Uh, it's bigger than all the others, uh, and it has actually a different texture to it, too. Uh, these have kind of a, a mesh texture to it, kind of. Uh, and this is uh, smoother. That's that part. And then we get his head right there. And then it looks like, yeah, there's a rope here. I didn't even see that before. 
Uh, this just hangs from his hand here. All right, so that is it. Uh, again, like I said, I'm not too familiar with uh, the history behind this because I haven't read the stories yet. But obviously it's, it, it's an awesome piece, an awesome concept. Uh, and it's just uh, the concept for the statue is just based on the comic book itself. Uh, but I mean, the, the sculpture, amazing. Uh, the detail work they did on his costume, uh, you know, the buckles that are all up here and along across the front. Uh, he's got some stitching like in the suit itself, so where it's torn, there's like stitching in there. Uh, and that's all over it's his arms, legs, uh, his torso. Uh, and it, even his, the, the teeth are just look fantastic, they're sharp and uh, and then he's got like a, a drool or blood that's uh, around his mouth. The, the skin color they have on him, it's kind of a white like the Joker would have, like his makeup. Uh, and then the, the Robins. Uh, <laughs> just, they're awesome. Just the detail, like I said. It, and again, they have like sharp teeth. Uh, and then the one with the tongue sticking out, uh, I, it's just amazing. I mean, the base is, it's really cool. I like what they did with it and that they put, like, his name across the back of it. Uh, that's very cool. Uh, the paint application is fantastic. It's, it's spot on with them. I love in the, the Robin's outfits, the gloves, uh, and even the shirt. Uh, it's super dark, like in the crevices of the, the glove, uh, and it's brighter on the outside of it. The way it was put together, too, I mean, to be able to make sure that you can get everything on that base with that many characters uh, and still look good, right? I mean, it was, uh, it's definitely a really cool you know, concept and architecture of it. The chains are a pain, uh, and it's... It's kind of sketchy as to whether you want to sit there and drag uh, metal chains, and they feel like they are metal, uh, through the paint, right? I mean, through the hands and then have them hanging on the paint job. Uh, as long as you're not moving it around too much, it's probably not a big deal except for pulling it through the hands because uh, it's a little bit of a challenge, right? And then making sure it doesn't hook onto other things. <laughs> uh, and then the, the exclusive piece. I love it. It's really nice. It's a nice addition to it um, with the hanging mask on his hand. Uh, it's really cool. It does take up more room, obviously, because it's separate. It's not something that can fit on the base, um, but it, I really like it. So I'll, I'll be displaying it with it. So, all right. Uh, so again, you know, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I, I have a lot of fun doing these things. Uh, I'm getting a lot better at them as far as trying to make it a little more entertaining a little a little fun with the intros is nice uh so but i'll try to add more stuff to it like that um just to give you guys something else maybe a little background music as far as uh when i'm putting it together so it's not quite you know having those dull moments but uh hope you enjoyed it um let me know what you think in the comments uh, again subscribe click the bell for you for notifications on you know when i upload new ones uh, but thanks for coming again